Yes, it is. And Brahman doesn't have to know, but I'm going to close the door. All right. So let's get this party started. So I'm going to just, let's stand it up and find our own two feet. And I want to kind of loosen things up today. So I'm going to just move a little bit away from one foot to the next. Maybe place some hands on my hips and just pay attention to how my joints are sounding and feeling. And I move weight side to side. Good, and then go ahead and steady your feet and then take your tailbone all the way around. So just a few little circles. Good, and then maybe you can take the tailbone and draw those circles in the other direction. And then just to wake up, maybe take a little figure eight and figure eight the other way with the tailbone. Good. Good. And then from there, let's go ahead and move the tailbone and the thighs back and then scoop and pull under. Move the tailbone and the thighs back and scoop and pull under. Good. So you start to feel that deep, deep belly engagement as we're waking up our glutes and hamstrings. Good. And then from here, let's go ahead, take your two arms out. Roll the thumbs, your pulgares atrás, y adelante, good. And then take one thumb, reach it back, take your head towards the opposite palm, and we'll get a little stretch in your neck. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, inhale, take your two arms up now, and then let's let the elbows move down towards the thighs. Inhale, stretch, reaching up. And then a long spine as the weight moves back. Inhale and exhaling up. Go ahead, try this a few times, feeling a long torso. So we're keeping that pretty stable. Good. And then let's hold down here for a moment, stretch and reach the arms out, and we'll shift the weight once again side to side. So go through your spine, lengthen the neck, lengthen the thoracic spine and shift the weight a little bit side to side. Good, sort of into one foot and then into the other. Good, let's exhale, take it up and you can step your feet just a little bit wider. Now you'll take that same movement, but upright. So you feel uh, a long torso, then the knee, good. And then we're gonna exhale, find that undulation once again. You can add the arms so the thighs move back, tailbone comes under, arms up, thighs back, tailbone under and up. Good. Let's pause now with your arms on top and take a long stretch over one leg. Inhale, coming up, taking a long stretch over the opposite leg. Inhaling up and exhaling, just feeling the sides of the rib cage reaching one way and then the other. Good. And from here, we'll exhale out to a flat back and up. So flat back, you can get soft in the knees and up, letting the fingertips connect. Flat back, soft in the knees and up. Flat back, soft in the knees and up. Now from here, pause, let's take opposite hand, reach towards the ankle and nice and tall. So. Again, feeling a rotation through your rib cage, through the obliques, and then up, rotation through the rib cage, but a long spine. So we're not twisting at the hips, but instead through the middle part of the back. Good, let's inhale, come up, hook the two thumbs, and now come, reach all the way over and up and reach all the way over towards that opposite leg and up. Good, a couple more times to the right once more and up and to the left. Good, moving that blood flow, but feeling the stability there through the feet. Inhale all the way back up and then let's pivot our weight. So now the two hip bones are facing the right side and you've got the right foot in front and your back foot is anchored into the floor 
And we're just beginning with a little bend and straightening through the knee. Good. All right, and then I want you to pause with the knee bent, knee right over your talon, your heel, and then the back knee is gonna bend and then straighten, and you want to feel the knee come under the back hip, but not any more forward, nor, um, yeah, so as it bends, it comes just under the hip, and then you're able to push through the ball of the foot to lift. Let's try that one more time. Good, and then from here, let's exhale, take the two arms up, go ahead, plant the back heel, move the hands behind the head, open the chest. Good, so then from here, we'll open the arms wide and take the opposite elbow towards the thigh and up, reach the hips back, squeeze the center strong and up. One more time, good. And up, and now two hands are gonna reach towards your ankle. And we'll find a little balance here. Through the two legs, letting the head, neck melt. And then let's push through that front foot, pivot in the feet, and try all this on the other side. So you can plant the back heel, the two hips face the Left leg, la pierna izquierda. And then we're gonna bend and straighten, doblar, estirar la rodilla izquierda. So you just bend and straighten the left knee. And find a little connection, a little energy. Good, so the big toe, your dedo gordo, conectando con el arco del pie. So the big toe connecting to the arch of the foot and then empujando atrás por el talón. Good. So then let's pause here. Go ahead, raise the back heel, bend the back knee slightly, and then you're going to bend and straighten, but make sure as the two knees bend and straighten, the back knee comes just underneath the back hip, and then the front knee goes just over the front heel, and then from your two powerful feet, we push and lift, push and lift. So these lunges don't find your weight falling forward, but instead we're pushing, reaching the weight of the body back. Let's go ahead, pause up here, just plant the back heel, take the arms up, the hands here behind the head, open your chest. Good, and then we'll open the arms, y griega con los brazos, or why with the arms tap opposite, Elbow to knee, opposite elbow to knee, opposite elbow to knee, and up and opposite elbow to knee. Good, let's find a long spine. Take two arms towards your front ankle hacia tu tobillo adelante and then push through that front heel to stretch the whole back leg. Good, and then from here, let's push, push, push through the feet. Once again, turn back to the center. And then this time, the right toes turn out. The left toes face the borde largo, your long edge. And then you wanna feel again, big toe base joint connects up into the inner thigh. The hips stay steady and stable. We bend, we straighten. Good, inhale, the arms come out, take one elbow and then reach away. So one elbow and then reach away, one elbow, reach away. Good, one elbow, hold here, hand can slide down to the ankle. When you're here, you can go ahead and extend the bottom leg, finding a trikonasana, rolling the arm out and in. And then let's push through the feet, finding our weight up, turning the toes in and opening this knee. So we'll bend and straighten. Doblamos, estiramos. Good. So feel that connection as the knee comes over the heel, resist and push back. Inhale and exhale. Arms moving wide, you'll exhale, stretch away from that leg. Let the elbow come tap down, 
stretch and reach away. And then the elbow comes down, stretch, reach away. And then the elbow down, stretch, reaching away. And then coming down here, hand can slide through to the tobillo. And then we can extender el, la rodilla, la pierna. So go ahead, stretch, finding your long, long side body, long through the inner thighs. Good. Um, from here, we're gonna exhale once again, just push through the feet, turn the 10 toes in, and then you can scissor the feet in, in, in. Good, so let's get the heels, toes touching for a moment. Arms here to the sides of you. Take your chin over one shoulder. Take your chin over the other shoulder. Chin over one shoulder. Chin over the other shoulder. Take the two arms up. Opposite elbow to your thigh. So when your feet are all the way together, it makes it more of a balancing pose. So spread your toes out and breathe. Inhale, let's come up. Find a little bit more balance by tucking the tailbone towards the heels. Push the heels into the floor. Take a breath there and then exhale. See if you can't float the heels up on the floor. Good. Exhale, release. Take the opposite elbow to thigh. So remember the hips reach straight back. And vamos a estirar. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then we're going to push through the feet once more. First, find the heels anchoring into the floor. Take the tailbone towards the heels so the thighs go up above, above and beyond. And then from there, you're going to pull the heels up, 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 up. From that strong, steady center. Beautiful. Exhale, release. Let that come down. Take your two hands, two hips. Take your left foot across. And we're going to try that same sort of sequence here. So take your right arm over the left and the heels pull down for a moment. Then the tailbone goes to the heels. Let's inhale, reach your thighs back. Take opposite elbow. So I'm going to go right elbow to my left thigh. Breathe. Inhale, coming up, 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 pushing into the feet. So first spread the heels out, take the tailbone down, draw the navel in, and then float your feet up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, exhale, taking that down. And from here, cross the arms back behind you, right arm over the left, and then fold over the two legs. And then push into the feet once more. And then let's just unfold and take that the opposite way. So now I'm gonna take my right foot over my left, my left wrist over my right, and spread out the heels, take the tailbone down, pull the belly button in. Inhale, the arms can come up for a moment. Feel that connection, and then we're gonna take opposite elbow, left elbow, ooh, toward your right thigh. Good, pushing down through the feet. Once more, let's inhale, bring the arms up. Spread the heels out, tailbone towards the heels. So feel that firm, firm, firm in the backs of the legs. And then exhale, peel the heels up as you continue to take the tailbone down. So all connected there to the back of you. Good, soft, soft elbows, open chest, heels up. And then we'll exhale, softly bring that back down. And then crossing the wrist back behind you once again. Take a long forward bend over the legs.
Good. So feeling that big opening in the chest. And then once again, spread out through the feet. Find your balance. Encontramos el equilibrio por los pies. Unfold the two legs. Let's take a step to the back of the mat. So this is my right side facing the ordenador. I'm going to reach my thighs back. Hands here to my two thighs for a moment. And now cat and cow your spine. So feel the lift. La cabeza, la colita, arriba y abajo. So big, big movement there. Let's now pause in this round. Take the hands to the inner thighs. Lower your head towards your knees. Y separamos los homoplatos. So really separate your shoulder blades. Con la cabeza abajo. So let the head stay down here. What a big stretch. Now inhale, bring your hands to the shin bone, soften the knees a little bit, and I want you to try another round, cat cow. So empujando las palmas en las espinillas. So pushing your hands here into your shins. Good. Inhale, looking all the way up. Take the hands to the inner legs, and once again pull the shoulder blades apart and stretch, stretch, stretch. Now maybe take the legs and lengthen them and bring your cabeza hacia los talones. Maybe take your head there towards your heels so you could look up and see your sits bones. Good. Inhale, mirando arriba so you can look all the way up. Take your right hand up, the left hand up, the right hand up, the left hand up. And voila, with a high tailbone, we're in a down dog, uno armuka. So take the left heel into the floor, raise the right leg, keeping the knee bent. Feel that power there. Desde las piernas. And then we're going to take your right foot behind your right hand, push through that foot. So steady from foot to come up. Find a warrior one. Good. So take your gaze, la vista hacia. Los pulgares, so taking your gaze to your thumbs, relajando el cuello. Good. And then from there, codo apuesto hacia tu muslo, opposite elbow to thigh. Remember, this is a long low back and a twist in the ribs. And you could take that hand there to the foot, reach the opposite arm back, then take that top arm up. Pravita trikonasana, or pravita parsvokonasana, que digo yo. And then push through that front knee. Good, breathe, breathe, breathe. Taking that top arm up. Once again, two hands down. Good, so now bend the back knee and stretch, release your hips. Or stretch, release the hips. Exhale, push through the back foot. And step the front foot back. And let's try that same bit of work there on the other side. So I'm gonna lift my left knee, lift my left leg, bend the, bend the knee and take my right heel to the floor. Good, so now I'm gonna colocar el pie detrás de la mano. I'm gonna take the foot behind the hand, let the back heel push all the way through that foot. To bring myself arriba, arriba, muy arriba. Bending the front knee, reaching the back thigh up. So the legs holding the weight of my body. Good. Stable through the joint. Good. Now I'm going to take opposite elbow. Hacia el muslo. Good. Opposite elbow to thigh. Trying to keep long through the back. Good. Twist. And then from there, top arm can come up. Over the ear, Parvita, Parvo Kanasana. And then lengthen the knee, Parvita Trikanasana, top arm up. Your gaze can go to your Pulga, your thumb. And we'll stay nice and long. Inhale, take the two hands back, bend the back knee, and just stretch, 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 melting the hips down. Feeling that stretch in your sacrum. And from here, push the weight of the body back. Another Aramuka Virasana or Aramuka Shwavasana. So now let's go step your feet 
towards your two hands and take another uh, forward bend. I'm gonna fold my hands now behind my calf and exhale, can get that deep opening. So as my head releases, so does my sacrum across the hips and I'm gonna keep firm with my legs to support that sensation. Firm with my feet. Moving in from here, let's exhale, come all the way up. I'm gonna turn it around and inhale, take my arms in the air and the tailbone down, the belly in. Strong, strong, strong. Good, exhale, bring the hands here to the thighs, lifting the head and sternum, and then exhale, rounding under. So we'll inhale, stretch, reach, lift up, and exhale, come under. Inhale, stretch, reaching up, and exhale, coming under. One more time, big reach up, and exhale under, and then hands to the inner thighs as you pull the shoulder blades apart and really stretch. Entre los homoplatos. It's really stretching in between the shoulder blades. Good, now hands to your espinillas otra vez, hands to the shin bones. And once again, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up and exhaling down. And inhale up. Good, now hands to the inner shins and melt the head down, down, down. And then we're gonna inhale, look up, rocking that weight out, right, left, right, push back through the hands. Good, and now left heel into the floor, take the right leg up. Good, this time open the leg out so you get a big stretch. And again, big stretch through the heel. Good, and now we're gonna place the right foot behind the hand, turn the back toes out, push down through the feet to bring the weight of the body up. Good, so bend in the knee, straighten the left knee and feel the pelvis descend right under the head. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Good, and from here, Let's just go ahead and lengthen the spine out over this leg. Another round of Trikonasana. Good, bend the knee and take the top arm over the ear, long stretch. Top hand to the hip. And we're gonna step the back foot in Walk your right hand out, one foot lining up, alineado el pulgar con el dedito chiquito, and then push, push into that heel to lift the left leg. Good, then we're gonna take this top arm, let it come down and let the top leg lift. So energetic opposition here, really pushing through that bottom heel, lifting the top leg up. And for here, I'm gonna deeply find that engage it through the heel and bring the weight of the body up. Good, let's turn it around. And we'll try that just one more time going the other way. So take a second, circle through the wrists. Reach out through the arms. And inhale, take your two arms up, the tailbone down. Feel that stability. And then exhale, cat and cow the spine once again. Inhale and exhale, rounding under. Inhale and exhale, rounding under one more time. Inhale and exhale, round under. Hands to the thighs, stretch, stretch, stretch. In between your shoulder blades. Entre los homoplatos. And then we'll walk your hands down to the shins. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, pushing in. Inhale and exhale. This time, inhale. Take the hands to the inner shins and rounding over once again. So deepening the stretch. 
twin, you might find you put more length in the legs and you can move the tailbone up and beyond your heels. Good, let's inhale, walk your hands out right, left and right. Take a pause here. Now the left, uh, the left leg is going to lift, the knee is going to bend. We're going to open, reach the right heel. Alcanzamos el talón derecho hacia el piso. So you're reaching the right heel towards the floor and opening up, reaching away from the toes. Desde aquí, colocamos el pie detrás de la mano. So you place the left foot behind the heel. Push through the feet, empujando por los talones para subir otra vez. And here we are in a warrior two. Feel the scapula slide down the back. And you can kind of pump the arm. Push, 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 reaching out. Feeling that blood flow there. Good. And then from here, let's just exhale and take some weight down a little bit. And we're going to lengthen this bottom leg. Find a little Madrikanasana. Now we'll bend the knee, take the top arm of the ear. Utita Asta Parsvokanasana. Good. And then letting the top hand come to the hip, step the back foot in. Two feet, walk your left hand out, one foot, and push, push, push. And then you can take this into a standing split by taking two hands down, top leg up, 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 up. Feeling the heel, talon, con el isquio, lined up with the sitting bone. And then as you feel ready, go ahead, find that weight, connect it into your left heel, and up and into standing. So you can rock the weight a little side to side, circle the tailbone, and let's come to the center of your mat. And let's start by lifting your right heel from the ball of the foot, now opening the knee. So the two hips face forward, feel the inner thigh, outer hip. And from here, we're just gonna pull the foot there to the shin. Take your left fingertips into the right palm and stretch. Good, inhale, take the two arms up. And exhale, release. The thigh comes down. Let's try that on the other side. So now we'll lift your right. Subimos el talón derecho, abriendo uh, la pierna, and then feel that connection through the opposite thigh, steadying the hips, toe ball, heel. Good. Now right fingertips into the left palm, esperando. Inhale, taking two arms up. And exhale, release, taking that foot down. Good, so now let's go back to the other side. Take the left foot, lift. Now take the outside of the foot to the femur bone. And just press in and connect. Good, and you can hook the arms here. Press in and connect. Good, open the arms and see about floating down towards the floor. See about releasing your neck totally side to side. And then push, push, push through the right heel and lift whoop, all the way up. Good, exhale, release. Side to side, we'll try that on the opposite side. So now weight into the left, heel ball toe, lift the right, foot to the thigh. Whoop. Or you fall over, that works too. Good, so feel that big opening in the hip. Connect the arms if you like. Open the arms. Floating down. Good, and a big stretch. 
through the hip. And then once again, push, push, push into the left heel, finding the weight up and out. Excellent. So let's now put a little blanket, una manta, en el centro de tu tapete. And we'll use this for um, cushioning our hips a little bit while we work here on the floor. Okay. So we'll inhale. And exhale, find that journey down, down, down. And then let's set the forearms here into the floor for a moment. Press the palms in and exhale with the pelvis. So just give this a few breaths. Waking up. Good. Inhale, setting your knees down, stretch and extend the right leg and the left leg back. So we're just giving a little moment in a forearm plank. Good, and then I'm gonna pivot that weight through my feet, find a little side plank. All right, letting that top arm return to the floor and coming up and onto the opposite side. Good, inhale, letting that arm come down. Let the two knees melt into the floor and the pelvis lowers, pressing the arms down, lift the hips up, lift the head and chest up for a moment. Breathe, so the hips melt in, the two legs long, heels lined up with the sits bones. And exhale, lower the head and chest, rest your head on the hands for a moment. And then let's exhale, lift the two legs and scoop in at your belly. Good, setting the legs back down, extend the left arm out and take the right hand to the thigh. Push down with the toes, push into the hands and lift the head and chest up an evenness across the collarbone, firmness in the arms. Good. Inhale, coming down, lowering the head. Exhale, switch the arms, push the left hand into the thigh, push the right arm, breathe. Good, inhale, lowering the head down, take the two palms together back behind you, open the chest, inhale, and exhale, head and chest come up, breathe. Good, so press the left toes into the floor and see about hooking your hands around the right foot and stretch. Exhale, release the head and chest comes down. We'll try that on the other side. Inhale, palms pull together. Exhale, lift. And then see about hooking the foot, the left foot now, and lifting the thigh bone, breathing. Exhale, release, allowing that to come down. Two hands, two feet, tuck the Tailbone towards the heels and maybe just stretch the kneecaps here, stretch the hips, or exhale, lift the head and chest, and then roll the weight hacia la derecha. Good, and then we can try moving the weight of the body hacia la izquierda. Inhale, returning to the center. Extend arms, extend legs, breathe, pulling the sternum up from the floor. Good, let's exhale, roll to your left side, right? Hand and foot can come together. Now that top knee can bend, top, Hand to the 
palm and then exhale, lift the two legs off of the floor. And then lowering that down, take your top knee in front and then exhale, just stretch. You could take hand top hand to your bottom foot. And once again, just reach into the kneecap. And from here, tucking your two legs together, push with the hands, and then this top leg will just slide it around. And we'll take Gumukasana. So my right arm, my brazo derecho, it's gonna go to my sacrum, and then my left hand goes to my uh, el cuello. And then if you can, walk the fingertips on the spine a little closer together. And you'll just feel a big opening across the chest, pulling the elbows apart. You know, los, los codos separados. separados. So check on your neck here. And then we're going to open the arms and then slide the legs out to the opposite side so we can come down on the mat here. And the right leg is down, the left leg lifts in the air, hand and foot can come together. And just feel that big connection, big stretch in the inner thigh. Allowing the bottom leg to release into the floor. Good, and then let's exhale, bring the foot there to the thigh, top arm overhead, and then pull the bottom thigh up. So there's, good, that connection into the oblique, so you can push down with the top foot. Good, to apply just a little bit of healthy resistance there. Good, exhale, lowering that leg down. Take your top knee, let it float forward. Top hand comes to the bottom foot and then you'll open into a twist. Good, so then I'm gonna push here with my two hands, keep my two legs hooked. Take my left hand, la mano izquierda hacia mi columna abajo, and then dos brazos. Good. So estoy conectando los dedos aquí. Beautiful. So now exhale, releasing the two arms. Let's come back to baste your blanket. And we're going to just take your forearms here into the floor once again. And then this time, maybe it will feel nice to press the arms in and lift the two hips up. And you can let the head come down into the floor so you find the crown of the head. And you can just be here if it feels comfortable to take the two legs up. And the heels right over the sit bones and the rib cage in. And then we'll softly let the knees Return to the floor and take a big stretch your feet here coming in and letting the head and neck release side to side. I'm going to take my two hands to the side of my mat and then let my sits bones come to the floor. From here we'll work a little bit on connecting to your core so inhale let the sternum move forward. And Exhale, sitting up. So this time, instead of letting the shoulder blades slip right and the rib cage go back, keep the shoulder blades together 
and float the two legs up. Let's take your left hand here to the right knee and twist. Now let's take your left hand or right hand to the left leg. Pierna izquierda y gira, gira. Good, let's come back to the center. Soles of the feet move together. And then exhale, float out over the two legs. Baddha Konasana. Good, inhale, coming up. This time, exhale, pull some weight in the sits one, still a long spine, and then float the feet up from the floor. You can extend your right leg and pull back in. Extend the left leg, pull it back in, extend two legs, extend two arms, take a few breaths. Good, now bring the left foot in first and then take the right leg over it. So we're doing a little burning log. Take your two palms to your two heels and then stretch out over. Inhale, coming up, let's sort of reverse that, arms out, extend the right leg out, extend the left leg out, breathe. Good, now the right foot in first, the left foot in over the right, and the weight moves into the six bones, two hands, dos palmas, dos talones, stretch out over. Inhale, coming up nice and tall, exhale, extending, and again, Weight moves back, two legs reaching out. Good, the legs release in, palms underneath you. Lift the hips and then let's exhale, take the arms, reach them out and slowly lower your torso to the floor. Good, so then from here, arms to the sides, push your two feet in line with the sits bones, alineado con Lift the pelvis. Y ahora las palmas juntas. You'll pull the palms together and feel the rib cage, las costillas subiendo otra vez. And then we're going to walk your feet back towards your hands and stretch Chadus Padasana. Good, exhale, lowering the pelvis down. You can take your palms under your shoulders. And again, if you don't lift all the way into Urdhva Janarasana, maybe you just practice. So feet here anchoring into the floor, pelvis rising up, head coming off of the mat, opening. And exhale, the head moves back down. I take opposite hand to elbow, knees to the right, elbows hacia la derecha. Estirando, so then your knees hacia la derecha, y codos hacia la izquierda. Inspirar arriba, and then we'll take your two palms aquí hacia el piso. Knees over the chest, you can pause here, extend the two legs, and lift. Take your pelvis overhead. Estirando la espalda baja, so you should feel a nice stretch in the low back. Hands here, hacia la cadera. Hands to the hips. Knees over your hips. Exhale, piernas en el aire. And then if it feels okay, bring your hands here to the base of the ribs, take the two legs back. And then we're gonna exhale, just slowly lower the torso. 
hacia el pecho, hacia el piso. Take the legs down long, press the elbows in, and the head comes into the mat. You can take your bottom lip, la espalda, bueno, el labio bajo, inferior sobre tu labio superior. And then we'll exhale and just lightly return the head to the mat. And then let the heels fall in, the toes fall out, and we'll take a few big breaths. And when you feel ready, you can just lightly wiggle your fingers and your toes. Hacemos circulitos con las muñecas, making circles with your wrists and ankles. Y estiramos arriba, stretching the arms up, and then abrazando, hugging the knees over the chest. And then we'll roll to the right. Press up. Tira. Con las palmas juntas, bajando la cabeza, cerrando los ojos, closing the eyes. Your practice is a gift. Thank you. Tu práctica es un regalo. Muchísimas gracias. Namaste.